Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Pulaski with the Outdoor Conquest. <clears throat> We're back out on the Detroit River guys, again. Do me a huge favor. If you're new to my channel, if you're a frequent flyer, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I'm gonna be taking a break momentarily from fishing. My turkey season's about to start and I'm gonna be trying to self-film my turkey hunt. I'm gonna try to harvest the turkey with my bow and arrow, which is hopefully gonna happen. It would be really cool. I think it'd make a really cool video for you guys. Any of you people that are helping me grow my channel, I truly appreciate it. I can't thank you enough. Be sure to check me out on Facebook and Instagram as well, at The Outdoor Conquest. I post a lot of pictures and videos, stuff like that, that doesn't always make it onto YouTube, so I try to spread it out a little bit, but check me out there. And I wanted to share a few tips and tricks with you guys that could potentially help you be more successful out here on the river. Just dropped it down there, guys. Right there, Detroit River walleye, doing it again. Nice eater right here. Now, one of them is one ounce jig heads. It's a necessity on the Detroit River. The current's so strong, in order to stay vertical, to help you stay vertical, there's a few variables that you gotta take in consideration. And the first one being your one ounce jig head. One ounce jig head is a must. And the second would be your over the bow trolling motor right here. You need that to help position yourself to keep your line straight up and down to keep it vertical and that's the whole key to vertical jigging is to keep your line straight up and down to give that jig head and this minnow the best action. the ambassador bridge again um, tip number two stinger hook you got to have stinger hook okay so reason being is simply this your jig your jig is down there like so and you're you're vertical jigging it up and it's floating back down well this stinger hook Okay, when a walleye comes in to grab this jig, what's gonna happen is they're not going for the lure itself. All they're doing is opening their mouth and taking a deep gulp, taking a deep breath and sucking that in. If you have this stinger free floating like this, that's the first thing that's gonna come at them. And uh, which is why it's really important because a lot of times your main jig hook will miss the fish. You gotta have a stinger hook, and this one's actually shorter than I like to run, but I snagged up so many times today. Uh, I ended up busting all my stingers, even the ones I had tied, so I had a couple of these. extra uh, shorter ones here so I want to tie these on quick and get back in fishing.
do not fish out here without a stinger. That's a must. tip if you're struggling to find the fish or find some active fish um some days the fish just aren't biting today they didn't bite real well at all i i really struggled but there's so many spots out here you know you got the bridge you got the rensen you got the boat docks you got two rocks you got wyandot you'll see the packs of boats the number one thing i can tell you to do Spend a little bit of time. I mean, if you got your mindset of where you're fishing, go there and fish. But one thing you can do is cruise by these groups of boats real slow. And if you start seeing nets flying, guys netting fish, obviously there's active fish there and you need to be set up there and fishing. I didn't see any of that today. Um, I seen a net here, a net there. I netted a few. I lost a couple right at the boat. You know, the bite was real slow. It wasn't lights out, hot and heavy, which I was hoping it would be because of the overcast day. It was actually raining today while I was out here, but um, slow bite, that's the way it goes. So once again, I'd like to thank you for watching this episode of the Outdoor Conquest. I'm Luke Pulaski. We're here on the Detroit River. We'll see you on the next episode.